case. And so what you had, if you remember, you had Barack Obama coming out at the time that uh, Al McCray was released, saying it, it, this is outrageous. The Scottish government have made a mistake. Mm. Uh, uh, was it uh, the best part of 200 Americans were killed in Lockerbie? It was all nonsense. It was all for public consumption. It was all designed to get the guy out of uh, jail, out of Scotland, on the agreement that he wouldn't pursue his, um, his, his appeal, which was going to demolish the official story of Lockerbie. Hmm. So you see all these things coming together. Um, uh, and this is how these uh, rings operate, uh, Henrik. Uh, they, they appear on the surface to be one thing, like they're into Satanism or they're into pedophilia or, or whatever, but it pans out to fundamentally influence and affect everyday society and, and, and the government of countries. That's absolutely shocking, you know, and these connections are so obvious, you know, and I'm also thinking back to, because you mentioned before, uh, you know, other cases as well, I'm thinking about the Jersey uh, child abuse investigation yeah. in 2008 that the youth hostel there, do, do you think it connects with that as well? Oh, yes. I mean, again, Henry, Jersey, blueprint, blueprint. Yeah. It comes out, the uh, man who uh, picked up the case, the policeman, who appears to have been a genuine man and wanted to uncover it, um, he found himself stopped at every turn. He, he was then subjected to uh, tremendous uh, uh, pressure and dis attempts to discredit him and undermine the investigation. In fact, he eventually was taken off the case. Um, the media would not cover it as it should have been uh, covered, and then eventually it's all, uh, you know, uh, covered up. Then you go to Belgium, and the pedophile murder satanic ring there that came to uh, light. The Detroit, um, Mark Detroit. Yeah, him. Yes. Who was, he was just a front man for the elite uh, and the law and the judges and the politicians and stuff in, in, in Belgium. And not only in Belgium, of course, because you've got the European Parliament and you've got um, NATO. That all comes into it. That's why, uh, you know, that was such a major ring because it, it involved all of those people. Mm -hmm. And what happens, a genuine policeman or an investigator comes forward, starts to uh, make headway, says that he's going to name people, and suddenly he's discredited and thrown off the case. And the whole thing is is uh, covered up. People who were abused by these uh, elite pedophiles and Satanists, the, they come out. They're they're discredited, uh, in, not in truth, but in in in, uh, in uh, the public mind in many cases because the media then turn on them instead of looking at what they're saying. It turns on them to discredit them and therefore their evidence. Mm -hmm. the, the 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 wall again goes up. It, it's all over the place. And what you've got in, in, in Britain, it's the same everywhere else, uh, but what you've got in Britain is the Scottish ring goes right into the heart of the British government in London and the British Parliament. You know, uh, there's all this stuff about um, uh, we must uh, check people and parents can't uh, just take a friend uh, uh, of their child to a sporting event without being checked over to see if they're a paedophile and all that. Mm. Orwellian stuff that's being justified by we must stop paedophiles. All you've got to do to, 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 to stop the major paedophilia rings is, is, is go, go to the British Parliament, go to the Scottish Parliament, go to Capitol Hill. That's where you'll find them. And uh, there is a tremendous potential now, as long as we keep to those two things, get your facts right, don't be intimidated, to actually bring some of these people crashing down and the whole house of cards because once you remove the cement, which are these, these, these rings and the uh, lack of knowledge of the, the, ring, the rings and how they operate, then the, 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 the cement goes, the house comes down. Absolutely. So how do you think this comes into place? This is a, an, an interesting question, I think, in terms of uh, how people come into the system. Because we have new politicians coming on board, so to speak, all the time. And they seem to get involved in the same old recurring story. Now, do you think it's basically down to the idea of, of, of the cycle of abuse that these people might have been subjected at some point in their life and they're carrying it on, so to speak? Or is there some kind of blackmail scenario that goes on here which says that in order for you to, to, to come to a certain level within this political party or this corporation or what have you, uh, you have to do certain things in order to, to, to attain that level, so to speak, by those who are controlling it. You have to... We're going to videotape you when you're snorting coke and, and uh, you know, involved in these 
atrocious acts? Or, or how do you think it, it, it arises? And why doesn't more people that are potentially within that system then saying, no, oh, no way, I'm not doing that, back out and actually tell the, the world about it, so to speak? What do you think, David? Well, uh, I'll tell you what uh, is staggering and outrageous and, and beyond uh, belief is that vast numbers of politicians in Britain and Scotland have been approached by people um, as a result of this Holly Gregg case coming to light, demanding action. And the silence has been bloody deafening. Mm. Um, they will not touch this. Do you I think, know. Do you think it's I, because they don't believe them? They said, nah, nah, it's too. It, it, are you talking, you know, about that's connected well, to all these bigger levels? No way. And the, they just don't believe them, maybe? There's some who are so ignorant of the world who don't believe them. Yeah. And there are many, many, many who know either because they're involved or they know the people who are behind it and they're frightened uh, to death of them, who, who just will not touch it. It's, you just don't go there. And um, I, I, know, I know that um, uh, a well-known British journalist who has written some good stuff in relation to things like uh, the, uh, the lie of global warming and stuff like that, was approached by a friend of his to um, talk about this and pursue this case of Holly Gregg and, and write about it. And the reaction was basically, it's too hot to handle. It's not uh, Christopher Booker, is it? Oh, well, that's, that's what I, I understand, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and, and I'm not having a go at him because he's done a lot of good stuff. And he deserves a real pat on the back because he's written some brilliant stuff about the climate change scam and some brilliant stuff about um, the European Union. Yes, absolutely. But this is an area that he won't touch. <laughs> and, 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 and that says something about um, the way that these rings operate because, you know, they can, uh, because of their uh, power in terms of, for instance, controlling and owning the media and uh, what have you, and owning people in the media in um, uh, significant positions, they can just destroy someone's uh, uh, political career they can destroy their uh, journalistic career. They can destroy uh, w uh, whatever they're doing um, uh, as long as they're within the system in some form. Uh, but there are people who are involved in these rings knowingly because that's what they are. Uh, they're, they're, they're pedophiles and, and, and Satanists and they come from pedophile, Satanist, intergenerational families. And there are others that were drawn into it because you, you use, uh, you know, the, 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 the word, but you use the word, but the, the theme of, of blackmail, mm, yeah. Black, blackmailing politicians to uh, do what you uh, tell them to do and introduce legislation you tell them to introduce because if you don't, then this is going in the post. And uh, you may have come across this um, document that came to light early in this year. In, in Australia, which uh, purports to be a deathbed, quote, confession of a Satanist, a major Satanist in Australia. Um, and it's uh, quite a long document. It's not so much a confession because he still, still seems to support it in so many ways. But he does reveal um, how these rings operate and how fundamental they are to manipulating global uh, politics and, and, and the system in general, the control system in general, how they are, as I call it, the cement of the control system. Uh, and I can't verify that this document is genuine. What I can verify after uh, two decades of investigating this is that what he says in that document in detail is absolutely the way it works. And I've got a quote here. This is what he says in part of the document. That's absolutely spot on, given you know, what, what we're talking about here now. He says this, politicians are introduced by a carefully graded set of criteria and situations that enable them to accept that their victims will be, quote, our little secret. Young children sexually molested and physically abused by politicians worldwide are quickly used as sacrifices. In Australia, the bodies are hardly ever discovered for Australia is still a wilderness. And staggering as it may seem to people who are new to this, listening to this program, where they don't have a wilderness in places like uh, uh, Britain and, and, and more densely populated countries, they control the crematoria, mm. um, or some of them. And, and they, they um, get rid of their, their uh, sacrificed and dead bodies um, through that uh, uh, system. 
Uh, and 